Hey everyone, how you doing today? Dave with you. And we're going to talk about a very, very sensitive issue regarding grief and loss. It's something that's terribly, terribly, terribly unfortunate, but it happens. It happens in life. Uh, we lose ones uh, to death and uh, it's just overwhelmingly crippling. Pain is searing and it's really no words for how enormous uh, it is and how it just takes your breath away. I have first-hand knowledge I have experience in this, so I'm qualified to share my thoughts that are hopefully empowering, giving you hope and some healing during this difficult time that you may be facing or will, will unfortunately face uh, in life. Again, there are really no words for it other than to understand one of the interesting things about it is that why I believe the pain is so deep is because the love was that deep. Let me say not was, but is still, that's the whole point, is still that deep for that person, even though they're not here in the physical. We wish everything, I mean, we just wish we had them in the physical, but we still have love for them. Still, love never dies. Love, love never goes away. Love never leaves. It's always there. It's always inside. It's always in here. And that person, their spirit, and the love you have is still within. So know that. Cherish that. Honor that in any way you can. It's so overwhelming because many people who just lost someone or just trying to make it from one moment to another or still in bed. I understand all that. The pain is just so gripping. Well, understand the best that you can that all you have, all we have is this moment, this moment of breath to try to get to the next moment best way we can. So understand that and know that that person is at peace even though we want them here. Prayer and meditation is so important. Even though you may not be a believer, but prayer is great because it's cathartic. Even science supports that. So letting all your feelings out to a higher power, or just letting it out, journalizing it, speaking with someone, you know, talking to that picture, uh, the, that person, whatever it is, whatever you need to do that's healthy, that's healthy to help you get to the next moment is something to consider and it will actually help. Even though it doesn't seem like that at the time, it will help get you from one moment to the next. Death is the worst enemy ever. So again, there is nothing that someone can give you that can take away the pain or bring that person back. Understanding that that person is with you on the inside and you carry them with you, that is important. And they will want you to do that. They will want you to do all you could to keep going on, keep going forward. Yes, it's very difficult, but know that at the same time, are you trying, you are an example to others. That's one reason why I'm doing this video because each day I keep trying and hopefully people can see my example and be encouraged by it to some degree. Yes, it is painfully, painfully difficult, but it is doable with the right support and the support of people, friends, family, people who are well-meaning. Yes, that's what it is. And understand too, Scripture says that there is a resurrection, so you will rejoin that person at some point. But even if you are a non-believer or what have you, understand that that love is still there. So be the best person you can, take all you learn from that individual and just do some awesome things. That love keeps going on, that's the main thing. You're special, you can do it. Things are gonna get better a little bit at a time. It doesn't seem like that, it doesn't seem like that but it will. So hang in there. We all hang in there with each other. Peace. Mm -hmm.